this little boy. Yael. Yael. Yes. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> you wanna see? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to Kentucky tomorrow. Huh? And I'm getting my hair done. By the best. Doesn't this look hideous? <laughs> no, we have to fix this. <laughs> it's going to be fixed. Why is it so zoomed in? Mm. Oh, hideous. Anyways. <laughs> it's about to be so melted. Hold on. Is it even playing? Hey y'all, uh, so I'm going to Kentucky tomorrow for school for orientation and I'm at Analea's house. Why is she got me wearing this stiff bob? Like look, <laughs> it don't move. <laughs> it's so stiff. Oh my god, where is the concealer? I don't think this is how you're supposed to hold it. <laughs> This little boy, Yael. 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 Yes. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> you wanna see? Yes. Good morning guys so it is the next day and I just want to say welcome to my channel I started this YouTube thing like a couple years ago but I always lack consistency that's my problem because if I would have stayed on YouTube consistent from when I first started it like we would have been up but anyways um, I'm in Lexington Kentucky I just got here um, like an hour ago and for anyone who's wondering like why am I here so I just got accepted into midwifery school and the school that I go to, or the school that I will be attending starting in October is in Lexington, Kentucky. So we had to come here for a three-day orientation. I'm back guys. So I was at the Lexington airport from 9.30 to 12.30. But to go back to what I was telling you guys, I'm starting my nurse midwife program, yay! So I'm starting that in October and my school requires us to do like um, an orientation but in person on campus. So I'm going to show you guys a tour of the campus because we just got here and I'm so exhausted. My flight was at 6 a.m. Um, from Miami to Atlanta and then I had another flight at 840 something from Atlanta to Lexington. So Lexington is a small little place in Kentucky, so small. I've never even heard of it. But we just got here, the campus is like, I don't know how to explain it, like it's giving Kentucky, if that makes sense. But we just got here, um, what time is it? I think it's 12 something. Yeah, it's 12.28. So a shuttle bus came to pick us up um, and that's from 12 to four. And our first session is at 4.30. 
so i'm excited for that i low-key i'm so shy like i was trying to do content but i was so shy i used to pull out the camera so i didn't get anything but i wasn't really doing anything i was just literally sitting there waiting for the shuttle but yeah so i'm exhausted i woke up at 4 a.m so i'm about to give you guys a tour of my dorm it's literally like a college dorm like it has two little bunk beds and later i'm gonna give you guys a tour or tomorrow of outside because i'm exhausted i want to take a nap before that 4 30 session and i don't know what's going on i went to um massage lux massage lux and i because i had like a ridiculous amount of hours i had like six hours left and i was canceling my membership so i got a two hour massage and i let them do a facial on my face and look like your girl's face been doing good like uh-uh i don't play about this but i'm gonna show you guys the room and the bathroom i guess like the little dining dorming area so hold on i'm about to show y'all so this is outside as you can see, it's giving Kentucky, like I said. This is the dorms, I guess you can call them. I'm staying in two. There's three of them. The first one's over there, and the third one is over there. Then, so this is the little rooms. Um, you have to use this to tap you in. So it taps you in, and then you go in. And you can go up or down. I'm still down. So. Go down. It's the restroom. So it's shared, of course. So this is the shower. Your girl is a content creator. They have like toiletries, which is nice, just in case you know you forgot your stuff. Four showers, three bathrooms, and I'm about to show you guys my room, which is down the hall. Again, this gets you in everywhere. So tap it. My little bed of a little bed I usually don't like to sleep by the door but I guess it's gonna have to do and this is it little room little desk and how cute like I guess people that come they sign their names on here I'm gonna sign I should have bought a marker cuz I only bought a pen I mean I could do it with a pen yeah I'm gonna sign right here oh this is cute it says where does it start you are it says you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and smarter than you think that was really nice you can do this so this is outside i don't know if y'all can see it's outside but yeah is being so shy including myself because even like the staff here they're like trying to loosen us up trying to open us up and we're just not budging but they gave us these let me stand up to show you guys they gave us shirts frontier nursing and they gave us this which i think is cute it says an fnu student is hard sorry what is it an fnu is hard I, I was right an fnu student is hard at work inside it's like a door tag and it says stop testing in progress until whatever time so you know like if you're at the library or if you're in your room and you're studying and you want your man or your friends to leave you alone you put that on there so they know you're studying a water bottle and they gave us the cards the cards came in here as well the cards and also my d picture I gotta show y'all this ID picture. Y'all gonna be like, who you think you is, sis? But let me show y'all the ID picture. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even show y'all. Y'all, like, who do I think I am? How cute. And it says, um, it's my name, student nurse midwife. 
soon midwife i'm so excited for this journey y'all like this is really literally one of like the happiest moments of my life like but anyways and my favorite color pink a little lanyard so i'm just so excited to be here um i'm about to honestly get some sleep because like i said i've been up it's 12 37 right now i gotta be up at like probably like 4 or 3 45 because i want to take a shower and i'm also going to order some food because um i'm hungry like i didn't eat all day and i think lunch isn't until after that first session dinner i don't even think they're giving us lunch so i'm going to order some food yeah so i will catch you guys in a few hours when i'm heading to the welcome session i'll pick up the camera and yeah later y'all hey y'all so i'm back it is currently 3 38 i was so tired like i'm still tired but our um first session like i told you guys is at 4 30 um so i took a shower this morning but i'm gonna shower now because we have private rooms but we still have to like share the bathroom so i showed y'all it so i'm just gonna like shower now so tonight i know everyone's gonna be trying to take a shower tonight so i'm just gonna shower now so i don't have to deal with that but yeah i'm so tired i slept um i ordered food i was so hungry because i didn't eat nothing all day like my flight was at six i didn't eat anything and i ordered the food i always do that i ordered the food and i like picked at it and i just put it away so yeah waste of 45 dollars that i don't even have but i'll see y'all in a little bit i'm about to shower i'll hop up i'll hop back on here when um i get out of the shower hey guys so it is later in the day and first day of orientation was great we basically like talked about i'm looking out the window everyone's going walking and i want to go walking but your girl is tired and look at this the day i decided to do my first vlog mr zit here i want to take the shine but anyways everyone's going walking but i'm just so tired so i'm just watching them out the window but we had a good day basically we learned about like the school's history and stuff like that and i learned something new today i learned that all midwife students l and d nick you were so emotional that's why i'm always crying i was a water bag and throughout the like orientation i just was like you know like getting a little emotional like to see like this is really happening right now like i'm really about to be a midwife and it's just crazy to me you know i don't know it's just like this is like literally one of like the happiest times of my life and i put it off for so long you know thinking like is this what i want to do you know like do i want to be a midwife do i want to even go back to school but i'm so happy that i you know because i wouldn't want to be in school during covid so i'm happy that you know i made a decision now it's like god's timing is literally always perfect because i you know i wanted to experience clinicals i wanted to experience like preceptorship and stuff like that look at some girls outside but you know i'm happy and yeah i'm trying not to cry so and i think i'm very rude by the way um so most of you guys know me but if you don't know me this is my first like vlog from like three or four years ago so i really think you guys deserve an introduction so my name is ayanta people call me tata yanta whatever you want um i've been a nurse since 2017 i started off as an lpn and 
I did that in high school. So I did um, LPN. Well, I did CNA my 11th grade year of high school and then LPN my senior year. So I did LPN, I've worked at nursing homes, home care, pediatrics, hospice, I've done it all. Um, then in 2019, I went back to, well not 2019, right after um, LPN. So 2017, I went to Miami Dade College, shout out to Miami Dade, debt free. I don't have a dollar in loans, um, so I went to Miami Dade for my associates. I did an LPN to RN, which was one year, and um, I graduated in 2019. Then went right back into it the next semester um, for my bachelor's. COVID hit, so I did my whole bachelor's um, program online for three semesters. Um, I started working as an RN. My first hospital job was working as um, med surge tele. I always wanted to do labor and delivery even throughout nursing school but when I became a nurse it was so hard to get a job especially in a specialty you know especially like if you don't know somebody you're not getting a job so COVID hit everyone went traveling and that's how I got my first job I'm um, in the hospital and I did that for a few months almost a year then I started traveling during COVID um I did that for about a year but I never was really happy, you know, because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Med surge is hard. Like, don't let anybody tell you you have to start in med surge as a new grad. Med surge is not a joke, okay? So I did that for about a year or two. And then, you know, it's like, I don't want to do this because I know in my heart that I always wanted to do L&D or NICU. So I started applying like crazy all while, while still was traveling, working with the adults. Um, and when I finally, you know, got an offer, I stopped making my COVID money um, to do what I wanted to do, essentially, which was l &D. So I've been doing that for about two years now, and I'm so happy, so blessed, so grateful to God Almighty, you know, for protecting me and holding me, keeping me safe, keeping me whole, keeping me smart throughout this whole journey. And yeah, I'm so excited to see what this new journey has in store for me, becoming a nurse midwife, um, woman's health nurse practitioner. And I'm so happy that you guys are going to be a part of this journey with me. So yeah, I'm about to, um, it's like probably like 7.30 or 7.45 now. So like I told you, I've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to, I showered already. See, I'm smart because now I went to the bathroom. Everyone's in the bathroom. Um, so I'm gonna go just, you know, relax, unwind, and... Good morning, guys. So today is day two of my nursing orientation. I am currently in Lexington, Kentucky, and it is currently... What time is it? I think it's like 8-something. I have to go because breakfast started at like 7.30. So breakfast is from 7.30 to 8.30, and today is going to be more of like an academic day where we choose our classes, meet our teachers, and stuff like that. Um, yesterday, I had a great day. It was like, you know... They were teaching us about the school, the history of the school. Guys, this zit, I don't know where the zit came from, but it is here to ruin me. And I'm just gonna act like I don't see it. So we're all gonna act like we don't see it. But yeah, so I'm gonna head over to breakfast and I will talk to you guys a little later. Bye now. Now, so it's a beautiful morning, but I know it's gonna get hot because it got so hot yesterday. So I showed you guys the campus already yesterday. But this is a little bit more of it. It's a bridge and it's like really giving Kentucky. At least to me, I've never been to Kentucky before. So these are some of the students. She's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Just 
This is what we had for lunch today, burgers. It's finished though. Black bean burgers. My sweet tooth can't handle all these cookies in front of me. And this salad bar is really good. They have all the toppings. But yeah. Yeah, so it's currently one o'clock. We just had lunch. Um, this morning we did like break off groups, midwives, went with midwives, um, FMP and psych. We all broke off, learned a little bit about our specialties. Then we had an IT session. Um, then we had lunch. Now we're about to do academic advising. Um, we're gonna pick our classes. I'm crazy, so I want to do three classes, but they're saying we shouldn't. So. I don't know, but I want to do three because usually the track is like two, but I'm the type of person that I want to get things over with. I got cookies all on my mouth. We just had lunch. We had like burgers. It was okay. So yeah, I'm about to head inside and I will come back on here a little bit later. Your girl done snuck out because your girl is exhausted. Oh my gosh. So we just registered for our classes. Um health promotion and pathophysiology. Everyone is telling me pathophysiology is a killer. Advanced patho. So I sorry guys, I really want to do three classes. But I'm not because it's my first semester. I'm just going to take it easy. I have type A personality and I'm a micromanager. So I'm going to just take it easy this semester. And if it's like manageable, then I'll probably do three because I just want to get it over with. Like I'm just ready to be a midwife. I'm just ready to start practicing. But I didn't sneak out for real. Our session ended a little early. We were supposed to end at 2.15. We ended at 2.00. So I just ran to the room, like I just ran. That's why I'm out of breath. Cause I just need to lay down for a little bit. I just need to close my eyes. It's so overwhelming. But, and I have the itis. Like, your girl has niggeritis because I come from poverty. <laughs> I am not used to eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I'm home, I barely even get in, I barely be even getting one meal in, so. Your girl has the itis. Like, I have bacon, biscuit, oatmeal, eggs this morning for breakfast. Then we had lunch. I had a huge salad. The salad bar is so good. I had hamburgers, potato wedges. Oh my God. I do not be eating back home. But next is financial aid. I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even want to like take out any loans because I didn't want like to mess up my credit. Not mess up my credit, but I just didn't want like any student loans on my credit. But your girl is broke, so I have to see how much this term is. I'll probably do um, financial aid for this term, probably next term, but I'm gonna try to like take up a few like travel assignments, save up some money. Um, I also have like some money coming in from like some ISOs. Um, which is like a Caribbean African savings method that we do. So I'm going to try to like save up some money and pay out of pocket because I don't want like all them loans on my credit. Um, or I'm gonna like, not I'm gonna, I will look into like scholarships cause I need scholarships. Like I need all the free money that there is to offer. Like I'm going to apply for every single scholarship that I can. But yeah, that next financial aid session is at 2.30. It's currently 2.16. So let me close my eyes for like five minutes. Even if I'm just like imagining myself stress-free on a beach, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll meet back with you guys in a few. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here with me throughout this journey. It's my like first time actually like vlogging. 
and I'm so nervous to pull out the camera in public so like some of the contents on my phone I'm a little bit more comfortable doing it on my phone so it's a learning process you know hopefully eventually I'll be a little bit more comfortable vlogging in public and yeah so peace later y'all So we're having wine and cheese with the president. This is the president's house. It's really cute. Oh, some girls are already outside. There's a bedroom. I don't know who sleeps here, but there's a bedroom. It's a bathroom. I'm assuming it's the campus president that stays here when she's here. This is really cool. I'm supposed to be in here. Oh, it's another room. Somebody's actually staying there. So my school is in Kentucky, like for the third time. When I say my school is in Kentucky, So it's like really old school, but it's kind of cute though. But overall, I'm having a pretty good experience. Y'all know I'm a to myself type of gal, which is not good. So I'm always all alone. But this is really interesting and this wine is getting me there, so. I'll share. Claudia likes it when I share. <laughs> so um, I just uh, appreciate being able to meet so many people from so many different parts of the country mm -hmm. and beyond. I think that's really, really awesome and that um, we're sharing something despite the fact that we come from completely different backgrounds and different cultures and that I just invite you all to recognize that in your own communities, mm -hmm. that there are so many different cultures and communities in our back own backyard that we don't realize for me it was the native american indigenous population in northern wisconsin um, that i get to interact with in my current um job and even though i knew it was there it didn't really play a part a huge part in my thinking and it's just something that i kind of carry with me um especially since they're right now trying to reclaim a lot of their indigenous birth practices which i'm hoping to support them um so just 
be a, be aware and recognize and, and invite conversation when you can. And um, it's just going to make your, enrich your life so much. So, thank you. What do you call this? Uh, St. Joseph's. Up there. Guys, this is the Volvo tree. So I was gonna get a travel contract when I first started, but for some reason it fell through. But I heard it's a great group of girls up there. So it has its own. What I want to do? I want to treat women with hyper emesis graft. So like I was thinking, right? That wasn't the. That wasn't the U.S. thing. We have one by us too. I'm actually like I'm in a problem. What I want? Okay. South one. Are you those girlies put on for y'all and on Netflix? Selling Tampa and so. So it's the end of the night. Say hi, Pia. Hello. <laughs> We're just hanging out like college girls. I never went to college, so this is like an experience for me. You went to college. You just I didn't, didn't go to dorm. Say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Future midwives. <laughs> class of what's our class? Two hundred nine. I don't know two hundred nine, but like oh. our graduating class. They class two hundred nine. I think it's. 2025. We're all gonna graduate in 2025. Yeah, I think you guys are 20. Oh, some I of you came in with credit. But you're right? earlier. You're gonna be I'll earlier. I'll be 2025. I will be. You'll be 22, but I think we're 23. Oh, because you're post graduate. Yeah. Good morning, guys. So today is day three. Um, overall, I've just been loving this experience. Um, I've met so many different people from like all over the country, and it's crazy to like see how everyone's lives are kind of like similar like everyone's journeys and goals are kind of similar like no matter what part of the country i've met people from new york wisconsin california ohio illinois indiana like it's so crazy south carolina and it's crazy to even like hear how they live like how they're like some of them are like country girls and i've just been loving everything about this experience and my shirt is cute you can't see it it's like a midwife and it says nurse midwife on the back i'm trying to show you guys but i'm heading to breakfast um today is a clinical day we'll be meeting like our clinical directors and everything so i'm gonna eat breakfast and i will check back in with you guys later Oh, then decrepit. Do you want to pull in here? Yeah. 
Like, you yes, know what the is. Yeah. Girl, you know I'm over. This is cute. What's over here? Oh. <laughs> Just, um, but they have this little amniotic fluid and then you can move the baby around. Now this baby turns out to be breech, which was, there was a strong clue when there's a foot hanging out of the vagina, uh -huh. but it's, they're not usually that way. So, mm -hmm. so those are our, our abdominal palpation models. That's our little cervical exam. Very nice. We're taking like pictures it. for memories. Okay. I got a full body and everything else. So when we're pulling our hairs in our third term, when we're in our third semester or fourth semester, and we're like, why did I sign up for this again? So we are taking memories, taking memories. This is like the sim lab. Um, they have like different places for like oh we have the pair of guards <laughs> this is the home bird saying I like this one better it looks like cozy, like I just, home. I That's just love the water bird. That's why oh, yeah. I like the other one. FNU Midway. There is the nothing bird. more beautiful than bringing new life into this world. That's a fact. But yeah, guys, I'm just so like ready for this experience. Like this whole like them making us come to Kentucky was crazy to me at first, but. I'm honestly so happy that I came and met so much people, met so many different people from so many different parts of the country that are all on the same path as me. And look, y'all, it says discipline will take you places that motivation can't. Vision is the first step you need to take change. No, sorry. Vision is the first step you need to take to change your life. I keep reading it wrong. Patience to see a return, you must first invest. This is so like, I'm gonna take a picture of this. It's so motivating. Determination, how bad do you want it? Greatness is not what you have, it's what you give. Focus where your attention goes, your results flow. So this is my, the last one I'm going to make you indulge me with a little kumbaya. <laughs> so the end is in sight. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to take a minute to do our typical circle up. So I'd love to hear any um, thoughts or reflections that you have. The college experience of staying in, away from home. So being away from my, my little one right now is kind of hard, but I enjoyed it and I met a lot of new friends. So hopefully we all stay in touch with each other on Facebook and WhatsApp and the groups, but I'll be available if y'all want to chat <laughs> <laughs> while I go back in my little sardine can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was me freaking out on Tuesday. About <laughs> was being vulnerable, kind of in, you know, you're in a new environment with people who, some of us are extroverts, some of us are introverts. It's a very odd kind of place to be in. And I just want to say feeling relieved and like finding our zebras and I personally feel very safe in this space and so I just want to encourage all of you to remember how safe you feel in this moment and take that back into your practice and I also am just really glad that like you got I'm about to cry y'all <laughs> I'm really glad that like you are the people that will be taking care of like my sons and my daughters my my grandma you know like this is just so amazing to me so anyway glad to meet y'all <laughs> Nice. Shared it on the group. It says, "You are our future. Together, we can make a difference for families. No one comes here by accident." Like that stood out to me so much. So I, I hope when we're leaving here, we remember that we got accepted here for a reason, and it wasn't by accident. So, everyone, good luck and all the best on this journey.
like Lexington, Kentucky about 10 minutes ago and I came to just chill in the Sky Club because my next flight doesn't leave until like an hour and it's currently 8.11 so I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and yeah, I'm gonna get drunk because I like to be drunk on planes and this flight is a night flight so I want to be sleeping but I'm going to fill you guys all in about my experience in Kentucky and you know about starting this journey and about like my goals and my why behind being behind becoming a nurse midwife probably tonight or when I get home or probably in the morning most likely because I'll probably be really exhausted but yeah so I will give you guys an update when I get home bye So I just got home. I had a connected flight in Atlanta. Y'all knew that already. But I just want to talk about my experience and about how like grateful I am for that opportunity to go like to Kentucky. Because when they were telling me I have to go to Kentucky, I was not excited. I was like, why do I have to go all the way to the school? Mind you, we have to pay for it. So I'm like, why is they making something mandatory and then you have to pay for it? So I was like, I was not interested in this. I didn't even care to go. But I'm so happy that I was able to like go and meet so many different people. Like people that live like 30 minutes away from me, 45 minutes away from me that are literally on the same path as me. And my goal as a nurse midwife is literally like to put on for my people um you know just give back to the community you know be that voice for our moms that don't speak english i have a haitian background just you know be there for them be their advocate for you know the caribbean hispanic population that are either too afraid have that language barrier or don't or just don't know you know what care they're entitled to get you know just like giving back to the population like the undeserved population that truly deserve so much more or being that provider for a woman of color when she sees my picture on the website she's like yeah she looks like me you know that's who i want but i'm really just so excited so nervous if they would tell me like class is starting tomorrow i would like be like yes but i'm just feeling the feels right now um what time is it right now it's probably like midnight or something but i just got home and I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Um, I'm about to go to bed, so bye.